Barnet travel to Oldham tomorrow in the next National League fixture. Dean, how has the preparations been? Yeah, I've been bright. Place is bright and breezy at the minute at the Hive. Um, just the fact that we've won 2-0 on Tuesday night, that helps. Um, sets the mood around the camp and players' attitude's been spot on. So, yeah, we've had a two-day preparation, so we're looking forward to it. On Tuesday, set pieces was a big thing for crossing the ball. Have you been training on that, training that in the week? Yeah, we do that all the time. Um, you know, Mel takes responsibility of that with Tumble. Um, they both sort of work on that as well. So we look at the opposition, see can we see any weaknesses in their defensive setup. So just like they'll be probably doing the same to us. But so yeah, so great. We've got great delivery on Hawley, Gorman, uh, Shields is good set piece taker. Um, Beard can take a few as well. So. We've got an array of talent in that department, so we want to take advantage of it. So only two defeats and nine for Barnett, and we're in good form at the minute. How important is that for a league where you're playing Saturday, Tuesday? Is that momentum important to keep going with results? Uh, not really. You're just one game at a time, really, in this business. Um, it can change so quickly. I, I think I say it quite a lot. You can lose three on the bounce in this division as quick as win three on the bounce. So it's it's a challenging division. You look at Oldham squad tomorrow, they've got so much talent in their group. Um They've got so much experience. So, look, we know it's going to be a really difficult game. It's a challenging game for us. Um, but we're looking forward to that challenge. You know, we've got a lot of youth about us. We've got good energy, good athleticism within our team. So, hopefully we can penetrate our game plan and, uh, and take it to them. But I see it being a good game, to be honest, which I think will be quite an open game. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And I've heard that our supporters are taking it's 250 of our supporters going up there. We want to really, really thank them and appreciate their positive support. The guys that went on Tuesday night, unbelievable effort from them. And once again this weekend for our club, uh, it's, a, it's a great effort. And uh, hopefully we'll give them something to sing about. Hopefully we can get a positive result. But it's not going to be easy. Um, the key to this business is hard work, keep sticking together, keep, keep taking it to the line, which the players are doing. So, uh, But we're really excited about the game. You mentioned the strength of Oldham. Where do you see their main threats coming from for tomorrow? A lot of players, good players. Rooney, Abrahams, uh, up front. So, yeah, they've got loads of experience. Main out at the back. You, you know, I think they're five or six players from uh, Kitchens and people like that that have won the title with Stockport last year. So, And obviously a new manager in the place, which makes it... Um, which makes it, obviously... You know, new to the division in that sense, but experienced manager. Um, so, yeah, so f from our point of view... Um, they've got lots of talents which, which we've worked on and you know at times we're probably going to be up against it but you know we've got good players too that can affect it, uh, sort of their weaknesses too so a win could move us into the playoffs tomorrow do you use that as motivation or do you just focus it one game at a time points per game for us that's how we walk so one game at a time like I said to you earlier um, it's the accumulated points that happen after 46 games that matter so you know we've got we've set a points target and if we reach that we'll have an unbelievable season so some days are going to be tough. Some days are going to be. We don't get too high when we win, and we don't get too low when we lose. That's that's how we walk. We have two games in two days with Chelmsford on Monday. How was the? Is there any team news or any rotation needed to keep players fresh? We'd love to rotate. I'm afraid we don't have the squad to do that, and the injury list is big. So we just don't have the squad to do that at the football club. So it's as simple as that. We'd love to rotate, um, but now the lads that are in the team are doing really well. So. Um, We'll make selection decisions tomorrow and then we'll see how we recover after tomorrow's game on Sunday. We're in Sunday and we prepare for Monday. So just one game at a time. And um, like I say, you'd love to rotate, but we can't do that here. Dean, thank you for your time. Thank you.